Cool. Uh, let's switch over to the Euphoria. So, here's the Euphoria. Um, again, three standard controls with gain, volume, tone, where kind of the analogous controls to the accent control on here would be the bass control and the voicing. These two work together to do the same thing that the accent does. The bass happens before, the bass control happens before the clipping. So you can crush the clipping with this tons of bass if you really want that bloated sound, or start with a bass if you don't, if you really want to tighten up the low end. Uh, the voicing control is an overall compression control. So I like the open setting, to me that sounds the best. Smooth is what they talk about being dumbly. And crunch, I'm just prepared to hate, frankly. Um, but there's actually usable tones there too. So you can see right off the bat, talking about flexibility, this is super flexible because I can control the bass and the voicing. Let's see what it sounds like. I'm gonna run this at 18 volts. I'll show you what it sounds like at nine volts too, but 18 volts is where it's at. So. I guess just to remind you, I'll show you the clean toning. pretty transparent or uncolored is a word I like to use. Transparent is bogus. It's a bogus term. That's about where the bass just starting to be bloaty but it gives you the character that you're looking for if you're trying to sound dumbly. Um, I'm going to crank this so you can and then cut it all the way back. So obviously a huge difference in tone there. That sounds great man. So we're gonna try the other two voicings but I'm gonna try to keep the gain about the same because that's about as much gain as, gain as I would use in a foundational pedal. So let's put on the voicing of smooth and bring down the gain a little bit. Um, probably need some more treble and some more volume. Even more volume. Good enough. All right, same thing. I found a, a useful tone almost with the gain off. Alright, same thing. So you can even hear with the gain all the way down, there's more gain. 
gain than the other two settings at their very moderate setting. <laughs> It's still awesome. Cool. So let me show you this at nine volts. I'm going to go back to my preferred setting. And all I'm going to do is, is change the voltage now. Right, at 9 volts. I'm going to bring the volume up so to, to match, right? To me, 18 volts just sounds way better. So that's the euphoria. So I think for me coming down to the, the two pedals, it's obvious how much more flexible the euphoria is. It, it's incredible. Um, and yeah, I have the feeling that if I sat with it long enough, I could in the open setting, I can get a barber kind of tone out of it, that, that clarity. But if I'm stuck with an, so, you know, if I'm using my own amp and I love it, open setting, minimal gain, great, no problem. Working with the back line with the amp I don't dig, maybe it's smooth, a little more gain, and, you know, more control over the tone, and I can get more of a dumble sound out of, or, I don't know if it sounds like a dumble, I've never played one, but I can get that sound um, kind of on any amp. I get the feeling I can do that. This, the symbol though, however, has a character I love. This sounds great. And I would say if, if this, um, if I was trying to build a, a pedal board where that was the, the, the sound I would wanted to get out of it, this is what I would use. I just, I don't know. It's hard to, do. it's something in the upper mids or something it does that's really special where it stays open and it's never, it doesn't sound harsh, and it's its very flexible for just a four knob uh, pedal. But that's not the job that I'm looking for this pedal to do. So I'm torn, but I'm going to go with the Euphoria, which just leaves one obvious thing. What if the Euphoria is the foundational pedal, and the symbol, um, because it has more character, is the melodic pedal? And you can say, is this too much dumble? Are we over dumbled? Well, that's what a dumble amp would, would do, is dumble into more dumble gives you dumble. So I'm going to try that out. Setting this for my foundational and this for a lead tone. So that's be the foundational tone. Uh, I have no idea what's going to happen here, but... So that's Dumble the Dumble.
because of how this is inter interacting, less accent than... <laughs> Because I think the Womp player is, is controlling the bass now. Pulling out some of the bass, so we don't have to crank this so much to control the bass over here. So overall, the pedal will say smoother sounding if it's lower. I think there's fantastic possibilities between using these two pedals together. So in looking at is the answer the euphoria or the cymbal, the answer is yes, but for foundational tone, euphoria. Uh, for lots and lots of character, cymbal. I think that's it. Uh, this is, a, I don't know if I mentioned this, Duesenberg D-Caster guitar with a P90 style pickup. Humbucker, uh, they can split a whole bunch of different ways. And I kind of think about it like a, either a really beefy Telecaster custom or was it Gibson uh, Les Paul Jr., somewhere in between there, sound wise. Cool, so put in the comments that you have below, either about these two pedals, about the barber, about the valve train, whatever. And be sure to check out my band, The James Williman Situation, for an iTunes and all whatever else. And, uh, yeah. Alright, thanks for watching.